dessert first. Hey there, I'm Cast Iron Katie. I'm Cast Iron Katie. I'm Cast Iron Katie. Doesn't that make a nice sound? So, just a moment. Hi there, I'm Cast Iron Katie. And in this video, it's another requested Italian recipe. I am going to make lemon ricotta tart. So, let's get started. Whisk together two cups flour, six tablespoons sugar, half teaspoon baking powder, and zest from one lemon. Mix in a half cup of cold diced salted butter. Mix in two eggs and one tablespoon lemon juice until it has a gravelly consistency. Divide mix in half and form two discs. Wrap the discs in plastic and refrigerate overnight. We're gonna make the filling. I have a 32 ounce container of ricotta that I drained overnight. We'll beat that for 20 to 30 seconds. We'll add our sugar. It's a half cup of sugar. And also add a tablespoon of lemon juice and two tablespoons of limoncello. It's a lemon liqueur. We'll add the zest from one lemon. And eight eggs. We'll add them one at a time. Okay, that looks incorporated really well. Now we will assemble our tarts. I'm gonna start by rolling out the crust. Want it about an eighth of an inch thick and big enough to where it's gonna hold our filling. Slapping it in. Oh, 
I thought that was going to be the hard part, and it was. We will divide our filling into the two tart crusts. Ready to go to the hot coals. We'll bake our lemon red hot tarts at 350 until the center is firm. To get a 358 quart 12-inch Dutch oven, we put 10 on the bottom and 20 on top. If you'd like to see the equation for that, let me click on the video description. and the lids and that's to prevent hot spots from too much heat that is focused in one spot from a particular coal. Okay, it's been on for 30 minutes. Give it a check. See where we're at. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Nowhere near firm though, very jiggly. It's been on 55 minutes, let's see how jiggly it is. I can really smell it, I hope that it's not burny. Ooh, looks good. Cracking on top. Mm. I really think that's about done. I'm gonna let it go five more minutes. Maybe a mistake, but eh, let it go five more minutes. Dessert first. So the lemon ricotta tart turned out fantastic. It is cheesy with the ricotta, a little bit of sweetness with the lemon, the, well, the lemon cello. And it's super light and fluffy from all the eggs in it. Here, let me get in here. Let me show you. Can I show you? Let me show you. Oh, look at that. See how... Lift that up a bit. How caramelized that is. Now, this is the one dish so far out of all of my dishes that I wish... Can you see that? See how pale that is on the bottom? Yeah, I wish I had not used the uh, spacer on the bottom in this one instance. Um, maybe even not use the Dutch oven liner, but it would have been impossible to get out. <laughs> Actually, uh, here's a tip. I used tin snips and cut the Dutch oven liner off of the tart so that I wouldn't break up the crust whenever getting it out. So. Um, yeah, just cut that tin right off of there. Or, I guess it's aluminum. Cut that aluminum right off of there. It's, it's refreshing how light and lemony this turned out. It is very good. I highly recommend that you give it a shot. It's, it's a good dessert recipe. This is a must do, so give it a shot if you need a refreshing lemon dessert to take with you to some event. I don't know. This is Cast Iron Katie. Thanks so much for watching. It's a lemon liqueur, and Joe says it tastes like pledge.